Now I'll get this centered as best I can here. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Now this piece will go in here. Like so. Okay. Yeah. Now I'll just drill this out. And the same with the other one. And the reason I'm going at a bit of an angle is so I don't accidentally go up into the hole. Okay. and I'll snug it up by hand. Now doing this seemed to work really well with the pepper mill, so I don't see why it shouldn't work good with the salt grinder. Just a little tiny bit of CA glue here. This is a CA medium. Just a little bit. Once again, we'll just snug it up by hand. There we go. Now I don't need a whole lot here. Oh, one jumped out. Get in there. Okay, so that's the pepper. I don't want it too tight. Now for the salt. I just got this salt today. I hope I got the right kind. It says coarse salt and can't think of any other kind of salt that's going to work in this, so this has got to be it. Okay, I think we got it. A few 
few little grains there. Well, I guess if they don't get wet, they're not going to hurt my table saw. Okay. Well, this is going to be the first time. Let's try the pepper first. See what happens here. Well, it looks alright to me. Yeah. Well, let's try the salt. That looks alright too. It is going to be seven weeks ago tomorrow that we started this pepper mill series. And it's suddenly come to an end. I kind of have the feeling like I've missed something. But 20 episodes? How could have I missed anything? Anyway, I want to thank Walt for sending me this stuff and getting me going on this. And also I want to thank the viewer who reminded me that because these uh, two mills are exactly the same shape, I can't use them in the dark. What if I want to make a sandwich in the dark? Always has to be a fly in the ointment. Anyway, thanks for watching.